Starting from Shri Nama with Vyakarana, um, Chapter 2, Nama Prakaranam. Or, Atha uh, Nama Jane, Nama Jane Vishnu Padani. And so we have. Really ended, not visible, what is. Okay, now it's visible. Okay. So we have entered the Vishnu Janata section. Um, Yes, Vishnu Jananta section, and this is Vishnu Jananta Purushottam Linga in specific. So the word is Pratyach, and we have declined till the first the first five Pratyam Pratyam Chau Pratyam Chaha Pratyam Cham Pratyam Chau. Now Two, three, Pratyach Yukta Shas. What is Bhagavad? Um, uh, uh, Krishna Stana. Observation of Bhagavad Sami. So, any Pratyach which is not a Krishna Stana and which begins with the Sarveshwara, is a Bhagavat Sangya. So, when Bhagavat Pratyaya is follow, Acha Ramaharu Bhagavati Purvasya Trivikramascha. The A uh of Ach, like in the word Pratyach, we have Ach. Okay, before doing this, we should remember how we made Pratyach. So, it was Prati Yukta Anchudhatu and this now got deleted by some, some rule. And then we had applied Idvaimeva Yaha Sarveshwari, the Sandhi Sutra. So according to that Sandhi Sutra, Idvaimeva Yaha Sarveshwari, the Paranamitta was Sarveshwara. That if there is a Sarveshwara following, then the E turns into Yarama, right? So basically, the cause for e Rama to become e Rama was the Sarveshwara following, which in this case is a Rama. So, coming back, the A of Aj is deleted when a Bhagavat follows and the preceding Varna becomes Trivikrama. Now, Shas is Bhagavat Sangya. Shas is Bhagavat because it is not uh, Krishna sthana and it's also beginning with the Sarveshwara. So Shas is a Krishna sthana, is a Bhagavad. Now the A uh of Pratyach gets deleted. So we get, uh, let me put it like this now. So we get this. Now there is one maxim here. Nimitta paye naimitti kasya pe paayaha. That when the cause disappears, the effect also disappears, which means that now in this case, A was the cause of the change of E Rama into Y Rama, right? By So now when the cause itself is gone, it has disappeared. So the effect also will go with it. So when we delete A Rama, which caused E to become Y. So the Y will uh, become E Rama again. So when the cause goes, the effect also goes. And then plus after redoing Y into E Rama, Purvasya Trivikramascha, the preceding Varna becomes Trivikrama. This E Rama becomes Trivikrama. So, Pratichas and Sara Rama or Vishnu Sarva Vishnu Vidante Pratichaha. Prachyavachi Pratichas uh, in Amar Kosha, the four directions. Prachyavachi Pratichas Tha Purva Dakshina Pashtima. Like that. So, we get Pratichaha. 
Similarly, uh, okay, you can try for this 3.1. Please try for this. Pratyaj Yukta Ta. Ta, first of all, consider uh, that whether Ta is a Bhagavad or not, and then, uh, then the need for. Yeah, please do it. Pratyaj Yukta Ta. So, Pratyach, Pratyach Yukta Ta and Acho Ramaharo Bhagavati Purva Sutra Krasya because Ta is a Bhagavat. So, Pratyach Yukta the A of Ta and that E also becomes Trivikrama Purva Sutra. So, we get Pratyacha. Yeah, Pratyacha. Then Pratyach Yukta Bhyam. Okay. Hmm. Here comes one more like concept. Purvasya Vishnupada Vatvam Swadi Tadhitayo Raya Sarveshwara Dio. When a Swadi or Tadhita Pratyaya that does not begin with a year or a Sarveshwara follows, the Prakriti is treated as if it were a Vishnupada. Again, when a Swadi, Swadi means Swaujas, Ityadi, or a Tadhita Pratyaya, that does not begin with a year or a Sarveshwara follows. For example, Bhyam. Bhyam is a Swadi Pratyaya. Uh, which is neither beginning with Yarama or nor Sarveshwara. So in such case, the Prakriti is treated uh, like a Vishnupada. Ideally, Vishnupada is Vishnu Bhakti Siddham Vishnupadam. Prakriti plus Pratyaya is a Vishnupada. But in this these scenarios, the Prakriti itself is considered Vishnupada. It actually is not, but it is considered like a Vishnupada. So... So we treat it like Vishnupada. So Pratyach is considered a Vishnupada here. Because Bhyam is a Swadi Pratyaya following, uh, which is not beginning with Ya or, or, or an Sarveshwara. So Pratyach is um, considered Vishnupada. So then we apply uh, Vishnu Daso Vishnu Padante Hari Ghoshe Cha Hari Gada. So Cha is a Vishnu. Uh, Cha is a Vishnu Dasa. So by applying Vishnu Dasa, Vishnu Padante, Hari Ghoshe, Cha Hari Gada, what we do is, uh, sorry, sorry, I got it wrong. We apply Cha Vargasya, Ka Vargo Vishnu Padante. 
च वर्ग से क वर्ग विष्णु बदानते वैष्णवित्व सवर्ग एंड देन द च राम चेंजेस टू क एंड देन वी अप्लाई विष्णु दासो विष्णु बदानते हरि घोषे च हरि गदा सो आई थिंक आई हैड एक्सप्लेन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट सूत्र आल्सो दैट व्हेन a hari ghosha is also following then also the hari the vishnu dasa changes to hari gada of its own varga so so the ka changes to pratyag and then bhyam like this you can also use vishnu dasa vishnu padante that also here right um because it's a vishnu pada विष्णुदासंधि So, a Vishnu Dasa at the end of a Vishnu Pada becomes a Hari Gada, but a Vishnu Dasa that is not at the end of a Vishnu Pada only becomes a Hari Gada if a Hari Ghosh follows. Both the options are applicable. We can do both either. Act part is uh, can be treated as Vishnu Pada as well as not Vishnu Pada. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think. Uh, when the vishaya is vishnu padanta or when a hari ghosha follows and the vishaya is not vishnu padanta the varna called vishnu das becomes hmm. examples of those when the vishaya is not vishnu padanta so i think this is vishnu padanta considered as vishnu padanta uh, in this case because jiva ko sam yeah jiva ko sam himself says akhyat prakaranam So, Could you scroll in Sanskrit and show what exactly is written there for this one? Vishnu, okay. Udharan anant, Udharan antaram agre. Udharan anantaram agre. Agre. Jiva Goswami doesn't say like akhyat, but agre. Agre, right? So that that means it could be nama prakarana. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like why the translation says akhyat prakarana. Agre means ahead. <laughs> probably it is coming from the commentary i guess <laughs> um, maybe 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 matsita to watch it okay so so both the options seem to be applicable so pratyak bhyam uh, let's see what they have done they okay they have a plot 61 of course but सो प्रत्येक भ्याम प्रत्येक भी दन प्रतीचे प्रत्येक भ्याम प्रत्येक भ्या इत्यादि यस एंड सो आई थिंक द सप्तमी इज प्रत्यक्ष यादव मात्रे हरि कमल राइट या यादव मात्रे यादव मात्रे एंड देन ईश्वर हरि मित्र क राम ने भी हम्म then the next word is tiryach uh tiryach as tirashi i think we did that no coming ahead okay so tiryach means horizontal or even animals also they are known as tiryam in bhagavatam it comes a lot this tiryam shall be for animals yes so tiryach yukta su then we had that sutra achash chatur bhujanu bandha naam च नुम कृष्ण स्थाने सो बिकॉज दि चैंड विद अच सो अच चतुर्भुजान बंधना च नुम कृष्ण स्थाने वेन कृष्ण स्थान इज फॉलोइंग सो इज अ कृष्ण स्थान सो विन सट नुम एंड वेर डू विन सट नुम अंत्य सर्वेश्वर 
परम तह स्थानम नुम सतीयुक्त सु सु गेट्स डिलेटेड बाय राधा विष्णु जनाभ्याम पश्चिमा सोर हर एंड देन तवर्गस च वर्ग चर्ग योगे राइट दिस न हेयर चेंजेस टू द हरी वेन ऑफ च वर्ग बाय वन सेवेंटी फाइव सूत्र तवर्ग से च वर्ग च वर्ग योगे वेन त वर्ग लेटर इज इन इज लाइक नेक्स्ट टू अ च वर्ग लेटर देन दट त वर्ग लेटर चेंजेस टू द च वर्ग लेटर सो तिरंक्ष एंड देन सत्संगांत से हरो विष्णु बनाते वन सेवेंटी सिक्स If there is a satsang at the end of a word, and the visha is Vishnu Padanta, then the last, the second letter of the satsang gets deleted. So the young and then chavargas ka varga Vishnu Padanta version of it was varge. So this chavarga letter changes to ka varga letter uh, when the visha is Vishnu Padanta. So we get the young like par pratyach the same, same the young chau the young chah. and uh okay amrita say something on this someone might argue in pratyakyam there is already a vaishnava following when the desired form can be achieved through that alone what is the point in ordaining that the prakriti be treated like a vishnu pada in answer to this jiva goswami says the par that the parinimitta vaishnava mentioned in sutra 177 in is only in relation to dhatus वैष्णवे अबाउट लेटर uh is replaced by udichi so tirya chipt shas shas is bhagavat so tirya tirya chipt is replaced by tirashchi so tirascha tirascha tiryagbhyam tiryagvi tirasche tiryagbhyam tiryagha tirascha tiryagbhyam tiryagbhya tirascha 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 tirasche tirascha tiryakshu like that same way udach uh उदंग उदंग चौ उदंग चह उदंग चम उदंग चौ देन उदीच उदच इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय उदीच वेन भगवत फॉलोस उदीच उदीच उदग्या उदग्भी उदीच उदग्या उदग्या उदीच उदग्या उदग्या उदीच उदगी चोह उदीचा उदीची उदीच उदक्षु इत्यादि या उदक्ष then the next word is krunch so krunch if the su um su gets deleted by radha vishnu janabhyam e paschatr vikramat sor har har and then satsangantasya haro vishnu padante satcha gets deleted then cha vargasya ka varga vishnu padante vaishnavitva sarge then this nya turns into nga so krum krumchau krumchah krumcham krumchau uh krumcha krumchah krumcha क्रुंभ्याम ओके इन क्रुंच युक्त भ्याम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कंसीडर क्रुंच एज विष्णुपद बाय सूत्र वन सेवेंटी नाइन पूर्व से विष्णुपद वत्व स्वादी तद्धित सर्वेश्वरादियो एंड देन वी विल अप्लाई सत्संगांत से हरो विष्णु पदांते देन वी विल डिलीट दिस च राम विच इज सिचुएटेड एट द सेकेंड प्लेस ऑफ दिस सत्संग सो वी डिलीट दट च राम एंड देन वी अप्लाय इत्यादि स्क्रीन गोट स्टक्ट
don't know why. Mm. Okay. So, oh, something wrong happened. We just stop. Let me reopen it. Yes. So, yeah, so this is the crunch shabda. Then, hmm, interesting. One of my favorite sutras is coming up. The next word is Vrashtu. Daitya Vrish. Daitya Vrish. Yeah, I mean, that is the Dhatu. So the word is Daitya Vrish. Um, nice section actually, quite logical and technical. So the word is Daitya Vrisht. It's written in this way, Daitya Vrisht. And this Vrisht is basically, basically coming from a Dhatu, which is Vrashchu, Vrashchu. Right? Uh, basically, this Shaya also is Sarama. So, this Ovrashtu somehow changes to Vrishcha by a few applications. <coughs> so, are there two indicated Are there two indicated letters for me? Ovrashtu? Uh, yes. In the letter that. Yeah, you can see here this O rest two. Okay, two indicated letters. The O is trivikrama, right? So O rest two chapman. Somebody is calling out O rest two. <laughs> <laughs> o rest two. So Sasya Shascha Varagva Yogi. When Sarama is conjoined with Chavarga. Sir Rama changes to Sha. So when Sir is next to Chavarga, Sir changes to Sha. So when by applying the current sutra, Vritti says, we have brushed, right? Because Sir is next to Cha, so Sir changes to Sha. Then the Pratyaya Kvip is applied, which is applied after Daitya plus brushed. Is deleted by sutra. Then the Ra of Vrasht becomes Ri by this further rule, 473. And we get the word Daitya Vrasht. So the word we will be declining is Daitya Vrasht. Okay. Daitya Vrasht. Uh, which is a demon or demon slasher. Um, okay. Before that, I was just thinking, someone was like discussing, like, you know, like, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So in Hindi, Krishna Consciousness is Krishna Bhavna Vrita, right? So we were discussing the Samas compound for this word, uh, Krishna Bhavana Amrita. So Vijay Prabhu, what, how would you do the Samas Vigra for Krishna Bhavana Amrita? Krishna Bhavana, Bhavana Amrita, uh, Krishna Sya Bhavana Amrita Iva. Actually, you know what? I also did the same thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, but but I, I was like only, I was only, only uh, like uh, whether I should use Eva or whether I should use. Arva, you could use Dvitiya, that second also, right? I, uh, sorry, I, first. Krishnasya Bhavanam Amritam. Oh. Like that adjective. Yeah. So, so I was like, uh, shall I use Eva or shall I use Eva? 
Because it is oh, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because Evo stands for Evo. Analogy. But Evo is no, certainly it is nectar. Nectar. Oh, so I, I was just thinking whether Evo or Evo, but I did the same thing you did. Oh, I was just thinking it is uh, more than an actor. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what more than Evo? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what what more than Evo? If not Evo. <laughs> so, uh, so like we say, Krishna is says is like moon. That's just a comparison only to for our understanding. Actually, right, is much right. more than moon. So in that way, comparison is used. Mm-hmm. Comparison is to give an idea, but uh, it's actually much more than Amrita. <laughs> right. Like, my own tikka pro. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna se bhavana, Krishna se bhavana eva Amrita. Something like this. I also did. Eva. Oh, I see. So yeah. Yeah. So Tatpurush. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Sudhaitya Prish. Yeah, we can put a what is that? Uh, Pita Amra Samas also. Oh. Yes, Amra Krishna Bhavan. <laughs> Bhavan. Acha. <laughs> then actually, then that would become like a Sangya or type of the whole name, full name, full. Yes, yes. So, Krishna Bhavan Amrita Sangha, the Devotees Association. For whom Krishna Bhavana is a sang, uh, Amrita. Yes, yeah, Amritam Krishna Bhavana. Uh, Tesham Sangha. Tesham Sangha. Uh, Krishna Bhavana Amrita Sangha. Uh, okay, now you are adding Sangha. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not there. <laughs> no, I, we were just discussing like the word Krishna Bhavana Amrita. Oh, Krishna Bhavana Amrita Sangha is there. So I was just the devotees association, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chasho Raj Yaj Braj Paribraj Sriraj Mriraj Dhaj Brashcham Chasho Vishnu Padanti uh, Vaishnavi Cha. <laughs> The final ch and sh of any dhatu, this is like one thing, and the final varna of the dhatus, raj, yaj, braj, parivraj, sridj, mridj, brajd, and vrashd. In this case, it is vrashd. So the final varna of all these changes to sh. When the vishaya is Vishnu Padanta or when a Vaishnava follows. Okay. So this is Sutra one one eighty two. Ah, okay. Actually, couple of sutras to be used here. Mm. Yeah, this is okay. I'll just show you one step now. Daitya Vrish Yukta Su, right? Now Su gets deleted by Radha Vishnu Janabhya. Ipascha Trivikramat Sor Hara. After that, we apply this rule one eighty two chasho raj, we will, which we just read, and by that one, this cha, the last letter of this vrish, which is cha, changes to sh. Sh. Now, when cha changes to sh, so this sh, which was originally sa, again, when the cause is gone, the effect is gone. Sa changed to sh because cha was the reason, the cause. Now, when the cause itself is gone, or replaced by something else, then this effect is also gone. So, sh uh, becomes s again. Okay. So, you please remember this maxim: nimitta paaye, nimitti kasya pya paaye. Apaya, apaya is like a, like removal, disappearance. So, when the cause is gone. Then the effect naimitti kasya api apaya. So here nimitta paaye. There is a saptam yudhi speech. Yeah, so it's correct? like nimitta paaye sati. Oh, nimitta paaye sati. It's a sati saptami. But sati is not explicitly mentioned. 
No, Sati is very rarely mentioned along with like whenever it is used. It has to be understood. But then we can justify any Saptami or Bhakti as Sati Saptami, right? Um, no, I mean, it has to make sense also, na? No, no, sense is different. I'm asking just uh, from a grammatical point of view. For example? Uh... No, I mean, if uh, is it possible? I'm asking from a grammar point of view. Then you just use any saptami bhakti as it's allowed to use it as a sati saptami because I can just add sati. I say I can just say sati is implied. Um. I mean, so you are saying that without adding the word sati itself, so can ah. this is the question, right? Yes. Yeah. So without adding sati, uh, we can it can make sense of sati sati. Why not? So okay, what is uh, sati sati? Uh, so basically, when there is a continuation of, let's say we have completed. Uh, so there are two actions in sequence. So first we have done an action, an activity, and then we have we go to another activity or we perform another. So then we use the sati sati. For example, like Krishna swadhamo pagate, dharma jnana dhibhi saha, and then uh, purana arko, no, then bhagavatam talks. So. So the time when Krishna went uh, to his dham, comma, you know, sati saptami, then Srimad Bhagavatam appeared. So when Krishna disappeared, Bhagavatam appeared. So relative. Um, more about sati saptami will come in Karaka, but you can uh, read in more detail in like some primers, let's say. Yeah. Nice concept, Sati Saptami. So one more question is, can uh, Sati Saptami be implied in a Samasa? Like inside a Samasa? Yeah. Uh, I, I actually don't remember studying that in Samasa. No, I don't remember now. Oh, I see. So, yeah. Krishna Kadhama Upagate is a can we say, at, uh, if not full samasa, can we say Krishna Swadham Upagate as a samasa? Oh, uh, Krishna, and then there, there we can say Krishna is actually the Sashti Purusha. I think, I think we can say that Krishna Swadham Upagate and it, it is still Sati Sattimi. I believe we can say that. I see. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Krishna Swadham Upagate, Krishna Swadham Upagate. I, yeah, I believe we can do that. I see. Okay. Got it. So in that sense, here we can say this one Nimite Apaye Naimitikasya Apaya. Nimite Apaye. Right. We can say, yeah, we can say Nimite. Very yeah, nice catch. We can say that. Nimite apaye and then ityadi. We okay, can say that. thank you. Yeah, well, nice catch actually. Nimitte apai and nimitta apai. Yeah, so Krishna Swadhamu Pagate or Krishna Swadhamu Pagate. Hmm. So we'll do this, these three, four sutras next time because like this go and so on. So, yeah. So, yeah, please do read something and. Uh, Simultaneously, we can we can go through some primers also nice ones. So so which approve maybe if you know some good primers one or two you can share uh, in the group. I like that oh. enjoyable Sanskrit grammar. So I generally prefer that one. Oh, enjoyable so, Sanskrit grammar. I see. Yeah, so. very simple language, and uh, so like that was written by a Chinese person, right? Yeah, Mega Marichika something. Not Mega Marichika. Uh, Marichika is a mirage. Uh, I, something with mom. 
right hmm. so will resume what is yes problem Prabhu, can you send us the google classroom uh, no i'll update i'll, I'll update that yes locus yeah i'll update that thank yeah. you thank you bro are you no problem